Hey everyone, it's Jen again from The Watch Village, back with another review, and this time we have this lovely Tag Heuer Carrera in brown, which holds the reference code CIR201U. As always, we won't hang around too much, so let's just get straight into it. Jumping in there first with the packaging, as with all of the newer tags, this one comes with the up-to-date rectangular star box, where on the outside we've got the cardboard protector box, along with that greyish inner box that houses the watch. Pretty standard stuff really with the non-special edition models. And as always, we also get the instruction manual with this, and the older star plastic sparkly warranty card, which Tag have now moved away from. Specification wise, the watch size is up at 43mm in diameter with a thickness of 16.5mm and a lug width of 21mm. So it is quite a hefty piece, sits quite tall on the wrist and it is really leaning towards the larger than average wrist type and it does suit those that like more of a sporty kind of looking piece. We can also clearly see that this is an automatic chronograph piece powered by the Hoya R1 movement. Now this is one of the movements that I've always been a fan of, especially the O2 variation as well. They seem to last quite well and they always feel nice and smooth as a movement. Moving on to the dial now, we can clearly see that this is a skeletonized dial, which basically means that the inner workings of the watch are completely exposed and are just protected by the sapphire crystal on top. Now this does make the dial quite busy, so it is easy for certain elements to get lost on there, but TAG have done their best to kind of distinguish the individual pieces on this dial, I think. For example, the main chronograph hand and sub-dial hands have been coloured red to match them together as a set and prevent them from getting swallowed up from everything else that's going on underneath. Additionally, the chrono sub-dial rings themselves have been coloured silver as opposed to the brown on the running second sub-dial to further distinguish the chrono features away from the rest of the complications. More flecks of red have also been used on the Numera markers too, which I feel was much needed to tie the whole aesthetic of the watch together and give it a little more character. Along with this, the Numera markers have a real nice angled shape to them, which really makes them more dynamic feeling and helps to bring more attention to how layered this dial really is. And matching those Numera markers, of course, is a really nice sporty looking set of elongated hands. Now there is one element of this dial which I do feel has been lost to the skeletonization and you've probably guessed it already, it is actually the date wheel for me. Now on some of the skeleton Carreras that we've had in, in the past, like the London edition, the date wheel has been coloured a different colour just to make it stand out a bit more, but that obviously hasn't happened on this one, they've just kept it black. I mean credit to TAG, they have tried to add a little date window to make the date stand out a little more, but for me it really does just get swallowed up by the rest of what's going on in the background. It's still a fantastic dial though, I absolutely love a skeleton dial and I think TAG have done well with this. I also like the fact that it is brown, it kind of makes it a bit more different to the standard black version, just makes it a bit more special in my opinion. The bezel on this watch matches the dial perfectly too in my opinion. It's a solid brown piece of ceramic which really helps to create an element of separation whilst also tying it into the rest of the character of the watch really nicely. I really like how the bezel's being cut down too with the outer rim having sort of a step down effect, making it a bit more dynamic looking rather than just being one flat piece. And as we can see, it's also been engraved with a really smart looking tachymeter scale. The lugs on this one are also quite elongated, which gives it more of a larger appearance on the wrist. The lugs have a real modular effect to them, which you'll see when we give you the case side view in a moment. They've also been precision cut, as you can clearly see by those lovely sharp lines, and they integrate really well with the bracelet and the rest of the case, thanks to the alternating brushed and polished finishes. Moving on to the case, here you can really see what I meant by the lugs having that modular feel, but they're pretty much sitting right on top of the case, giving a more protrusive feel. We can also see here that the case has a smart satin finish throughout, and the same can be said for the crown side of the case, where we have the addition of the Easy Grip Ridge Crown, along with the chronograph pushers. Note also how the Stop Start Pusher features a red ring, which I think is a really nice touch just to help link it to the chronograph features on the dial. The bracelet for me continues with the modular feel from the lugs. As we can see, it carries a lovely mixed finish, giving a smart feel, but also keeping a sporty look. And of course, attached to the bracelet too is a sturdy dual trigger clasp that's engraved with the shield logo. And finally, we have the case back, which is also exhibition style. Would have been a bit of a shame, wouldn't it, to have a closed case back on a watch like this. So I'm really glad that TAG went ahead with the open style to continue that skeletonization all the way throughout. 
And that's it guys, that concludes our review of this one. Pretty short and sweet. Always a popular piece whenever we get these in. This one has actually already sold by the time we've even had a chance to upload this video. But if you do like this watch and want to check out our current stock or even get in touch with us to source you one of these watches, please head over to our website at thewatchvillage.co.uk and send us an email. And of course, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe on the YouTube channel. It really helps us out, gets that algorithm going as well. I appreciate your time, guys, and hopefully I'll see you again on the next one.